blood based to be ready to propagate at a time of skinheads and racial attacks and the specials were very much part of the emerging anti-racist movement, especially the Rock Against Racism concert. In 1979, the Rangers had seven top ten singles in the UK, talking about social and political issues, culminating in the most potent protest song ever, Free Nelson Mandela. Well, Neville is currently on tour and has a new album released earlier this year called Star Crazy. First, let's have a look at a clip of the video, one of the first records in the city. So many memories. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I know. I was just saying to you, wasn't I, about um, we used to have fights with the um, skinheads. These are the guys in the video. No, not that, not those, but at the time, that's what we're singing about. And we're singing about um, rock against racism because we used to fight like the Nazi skinheads and stuff, and then all of a sudden they started to like the scar music. Yeah, and that was the weird thing about that, because yeah. I, I do remember there was another band that came up at the same time, Selector. They had the same problem, they'd be performing, they'd have skinhead audiences, yeah. threatening to cause trouble, and they'd suddenly start dancing along to the music and yeah. just mixing with everybody else. Well, I remember we, um, we used to have uh, skinheads in Hatfield came, a, lot of, a bus load of them came, and we were singing, and it was Z Kyle, Z Kyle, while well, there's two black guys on stage. So I guess I shouldn't have done this, I've done it stage. You've done it stage? Sorry. Understandable though, because it must, it must oh, be quite intimidating being a musician at that time. Yeah, well. that's wrong, but I wasn't used to it. It was the first time I've done the special from coming off the street, playing the sound system, and then all of a sudden mixing with a load of white guys, playing reggae, but not reggae. Mm. And then these big concerts with quite a few people turning up, who wanted to hear the music, and then you used to get the people who just wanted to fight. And cause trouble. Yeah, and then they turned around and liked, started liking Scar. They started, started, started writing records. I mean, just looking at those pictures of the special, I mean, the specials were a very mixed band. Yeah. They're multiracial. How did you guys all get together? Um, Jerry Dammond, I've got to give him 100%. And plus Jerry, he got me down um, Barbican a couple of weeks ago. To do his Scott Orchestra, that's what he was about. Right, Jerry got me into the band, he got everybody together, he wanted a bit of rock in it, so he got Ronnie the guitarist, um, he wanted Terry was a bit more, what would you say, uh, Unilevy. Yeah, that's so a terrible got, singer. Yes, yeah, so he just got different people in the band, and then he wanted me in it because I was crazy. <laughs> and she leave them out, and I was the Jamaican, basically, because there were, I thought there were two black guys in the band, there was a more Jamaican of the more The more Italians out of the more. Yeah, yeah, the more trouble. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I mean, the thing is, it works, that combination of yeah. people, because the friendship in yours to this day, you all obviously work together in each other. Yeah, it, not till now. I only get on with Jerry, Rico, because Rico's from way back, uh, played in the Stephalite. That's where we stole the music from. Um, Scar came from the Stephalite, so we took it from them. We still see Rico. Jeremy looks like Rico still. But the rest of the band, we're not so close. Yeah, but I mean, the, but the time that you were together, it did 